I just found a five-star luxury tent, but I'm pretty skeptical. How nice could a tent actually be? So I booked it and left the next day. So my friend Sam and I embarked on a two and a half hour journey to find out if you can actually have a fun vacation in the middle of nowhere. If we're pulling into this random person's driveway, we're gonna find the tents in here somewhere. Make a right right here. The destination is on your left. 16. Oh, oh shoot! Oh my God, what is that? What? This is a tent? Oh my god! This is crazy. It's actually like a full kitchen in here. Oh my god, there's another bedroom. What of you? <laughs> Yo. The coolest part has to be up here, right? Everything new? There's a, there's a swing. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> dude, what? This is a whole tent, bro. Oh I just poop with the door open. I poop with the door open too, bro. <laughs> and as we were exploring, the owner Maggie showed up and gave us a list of things that we have to do while we're here. Now listen, while you're here, there's a few things you should probably know and do. So if you take a little hike right here, you're gonna find the tree house. You're welcome to explore the tree house. And you guys are welcome to take a swim in the in the fish pond. You're okay. welcome to make a gourmet meal. I'm gonna try to make a gourmet. And if, <laughs> yeah, good if, luck with that. If you follow the less kept path, climb through the fence, you'll be in Witch Cemetery. Witch? Yes. Back in the day, they hung three women there for being witches. Urban legend of Phillipsburg. Well, I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, if you guys I, if I don't stay. see you again, um, I mean... Uh, hey, that's your problem. I'm sure they <laughs> dug holes more than once, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if Maggie meant that I'm not gonna make it out of the cemetery alive later, but either way, we were gonna try our best to have some fun. Alright, swimming. We're done swimming. After swimming in literally negative two degree water, we headed back to our new home to dry off. It's time to <laughs> go find the... <laughs> it's a very ominous trail. We're gonna spend more time in the yurt later. Since it's daytime, we have to explore the woods. Where... Is that the tree house? Is that the tree house? Yeah. I'm going up there. This is definitely not steady, bro. Anyway, pretty cool. What's that noise? We're finding a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty surprised. Usually, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of Missouri especially, all you can do is camp. There's another pond? Yeah, I mean, growing up in the Midwest, there's really not that much to do. So already finding all of this in the middle of nowhere is kind of a breath of fresh air. What's those noises, bro? They're pond dwellers. <laughs> I didn't wear my boots! I can't go in the water! You wanna jump in this one? Oh. oh, what was that? Oh, I don't like that. Feel just stop. What? Wait, scream again. Scream again. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Soon we're going to have to figure out what the whole witch cemetery thing is about. I really. <laughs> That's going to be crazy. So we explored some more and found a couple other things to do. I so, so far, our goal of trying to have a fun vacation in the middle of nowhere is going well. I just filled my whole shoe with f***ing dirt. But it's getting dark, so we need to head back to the tent to make dinner. We have potatoes and raw chicken. <laughs> I'm having so much fun in this tent, bro. Josh, I packed you a secret ingredient. What is that? You packed me peanut butter. The goal is to make a gourmet meal that would make Maggie proud. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Final piece. <laughs> yeah. But if it wasn't gourmet, then we weren't getting the best out of our experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little chewy. This is actually the best meal I've probably ever made. I'm lying to you. Sam and I's cooking was actually horrendous. So this just left us hungry for something more. And the only thing left on our list is the Haunted Witch Cemetery. And this is going to be what makes the trip worth it. This is scary, bro. Like, what the heck are we even doing in the rain, in the middle of nowhere at 11 o'clock at night? Wish us luck, Maggie. Why do they have to have an arch thing there, bro? That makes it so creepy. And now Sam thinks he sees something. What? What happened? Look right there, bro. You see that? Sh 
but it was nothing, and we didn't want to be disrespectful by entering the cemetery, so we just took the road that went all the way around, and the moment you enter this road, there's a sign that says, Not responsible for accidents on premises. And when we got to the edge of the driveway, we found what Maggie was talking about. Wait, what? 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 That's gated off. That's the gated off area. You will see three graves in a fence, and over those graves is a tree where one branch comes down and straight out. And they say that's the hanging branch. I decided to get out and walk to the edge of the fence. That's the tree. That's the branch. That's the branch. Right there. That's the tree branch. That's literally the branch, bro. I don't feel right doing that. I don't feel good at all. Like, this is not... Let's get out of here, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought I saw something. I'm not even gonna lie. What do you mean? Okay, nothing ended up happening, but I'm gonna be honest with you, we were scared. I was scared out of my boots. Morning, guys. Hi. Morning. What did you, what breakfast. are you, you brought us Thank breakfast? You. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Maggie surprised us with breakfast to end off our trip on a good note. We were gonna eat oatmeal and cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> we had four left. So we updated Maggie on everything we did, said our goodbyes, and I thought back onto how Sam and I drove here thinking that you can't really have fun or do anything interesting in the middle of nowhere. But after seeing what one property off the side of the highway has to offer and meeting one of the most welcoming families I've ever met, we realized that it's less about where you go and more about how you spend your time. And to be honest, I'm probably going to stay in this tent again. And if you want to as well, there's a link in the description to the Airbnb page. Go check it out.